As more doses arrive in Virginia, we will assign the National Guard to help with vaccinations. And Dr. Avula and this team will work with our military team to help coordinate where the National Guard goes and when they go there. And he will be part of the team you see here regularly with me to keep you informed and up to speed about the progress we're making toward our goal of 50,000 shots a day. You're going to see a lot of us in the new year. I know you have a lot of questions. People want to know, when is my turn? And when it is my turn, where do I go? I laid out the broad categories a minute ago, and we will have a lot more specifics in the days and weeks to come. But remember, we're three weeks and two days into this, and we're focusing on people who are, who are most at risk first. So your turn is coming, but for now, unless you work in healthcare or live or work in a nursing home, you don't do anything. It's not yet your turn, but it will be soon. As that time gets closer over the next month, we'll be rolling out online tools to let you know where shots are available and how that you can get them. When your turn comes around, you need to be ready and we'll make sure you have the information you need ahead of time. So you will be able to see a list of events, locations, and times. You'll be able to sign up online or by phone. We'll be going into the community and turning to trusted community leaders to help get the word out. These vaccines are really important and we are personally committed to earning your trust. I know many of you have an even more important question, and that is, is this vaccine safe? And should I take it? My answer to you is yes. I believe that with all my heart, based on years of experience as a doctor. I will take it when it is my turn, and so will my family. I have full confidence in the process to develop the vaccines. Yes, it has moved quickly, but that's because the whole world went all in on developing the vaccines. It's not something to be worried about. It's, it's a success story in a year that didn't have very many. I say that as a physician and as someone who has participated in more than 200 clinical trials over the years. I am confident that the proper process was followed for these vaccines and I want you to know that I believe that.